Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'll be showing you my new Intel PC gaming build that I'll be using for all of my gaming and productivity needs. My previous build is over 8 years old, so I think it was time to get a proper upgrade. For the CPU, I've decided to go with the blue team here. The i7-8700K 6-core 12-threaded processor will be more than enough to handle any game or productivity task I throw at it, and it should last for many years to come. Cooling this CPU is the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4. This massive air cooler has been widely praised for its cooling performance and low fan noise levels. I was torn between this and the Noctua NFA15, but in the end it came down to looks, and the all black finish just makes it more pleasing to the eye. With such a beefy cooler, I do plan on overclocking the 8700K at some point in the future. The motherboard I've selected is a Gigabyte Z370 Aorus Gaming 5. It has all the features you can expect on a modern motherboard, and really all I can ask for without breaking the bank. M.2 drives, USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C ports on the rear for future proof, and onboard Wi-Fi which I'm currently using until I get a longer Ethernet cord. The Wi-Fi actually works pretty well to my surprise. Oh, NRGB. The video card is an MSI GTX 1070 Ti Gaming which I'll be running on games at 1080p and 144Hz. The twin Frozer cooler has been spoken highly of and keeps the card running cool and quiet. There is also a nice solid backplate and accent lines that you can see from the side. For the RAM, I've chosen a standard 16GB kit or two 8GB sticks from Corsair with their Vengeance line, running at 3200MHz with the onboard XMP profile with no problems at all. No RGB means low profile RAM, so it has clearance under the Dock Rock Pro CPU cooler. For storage, I'm using an M.2 drive from 8Data, the XPG SX8200 with 240GB of storage. This will house the OS and any other priority programs. For everything else, I've got an old Western Digital Black 1TB. Powering this PC is an EVGA 650W G2 power supply. It's a fully modular power supply which helps with cable management and allows the flexibility to pick and choose what cables are needed. Holding everything together, I have the Fractal Design Meshify C. This case has been getting crazy good reviews and I can tell you they're absolutely right. This case is extremely easy to work with. The dark tempered glass dims the RGB of the parts and enhances the whole aesthetic quality of the parts inside. The main feature that I love about this case is the front mesh panel that allows excellent airflow from the front panel to cool the case. Many manufacturers are opting for a closed off front panel, but I'm glad Fractal Design is bucking that trend with this case. It's also quite small so it leaves a small footprint on the gaming desk. I'm super happy with this build and I'm glad I did it. Part of the fun of building a computer is picking and choosing your parts and then assembling it all together. I highly recommend everyone out there who is in the market on a desktop computer to build their own. It's not that hard and there are plenty of guides on YouTube to help you out. That's how I learned. I hope you guys liked this video. Please leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on this build. Thanks for watching.